Checking out the SCR from the battery charger. Uh, good evening, YouTube. 8.30 in the evening. Right, I'm sorry, 8.20 in the evening. We just looked at the clock. Uh, this is uh, still Thursday. I'm working on this uh, diode, or diode, uh, SCR. I have the other camera pointed at the fluke, as you can see up there. I will flash that up. This is the uh, SCR out of the circuit. Now, as near as we can tell, Bob has been frantically looking up the pinout for this, and he says the cathode is here, the anode is here, and this is the gate. Now, if I was reading my uh, instructions right, the cathode gets the black lead. And set that up like that. Anno gets the red lead. And in order to uh, test this, in other words, to turn it on, uh, we jump over from the uh, anode to the gate. Now that's the way I understand it anyway. And you watch the uh, uh, fluke meter as we do it. Now the fluke is set. I think I just did it accidentally. <laughs> the fluke meter is set to a 2K uh, setting. That is that is the diode setting for the fluke. Uh, I don't know if you can see that on the camera or not, but it should be close. Uh, anyway, that's where it's set to. So let me tap this, and you can watch me tap it. And I'll just temporarily tap it. Didn't, didn't do much of anything, did it? Tap it again. Hold it on there. I do everything I can do. Does not, does not kick on that uh, SCR. Uh, I'm going to go over here to, to this one and do the same thing just for the heck of it. No, no, nothing. Okay. There's absolutely nothing. Now, for for your reference, I did this on the lowest setting on the fluke, the the 200 ohm setting, just to make sure that there was no. Um, problem with what it was set on and it did exactly the same thing so uh, that is what we're looking at as far as the uh, SCR is concerned uh, I think it's safe to say that it is no good uh, Bob hazarded a guess that he probably uh, it probably is the weakest link on this um, circuit and that if you know you would disconnect the uh, battery while it's still charging or something like that. It's probably enough to blow the uh, SCR. So again, I don't think uh, it was working. My camera has darkened again on me. I really got to get that fixed. I'd be willing to pay somebody to fix that because I, I love the camera, but it, it's just really a pain in the butt when the, the display goes dark. You can't see what you're filming. So... <laughs> Anyway, that's uh, going to do this little demonstration. It's going to be a short one for uh, Marty. <laughs> Marty with the party. You'll like this one, won't you, Marty? But uh, I, I, now I think the... Uh, I, have, I was also asking Bob if there was a better, maybe a, a better uh, device to replace this with as far as SCR, maybe a heavier one that wouldn't blow so easy, but he didn't, didn't think he could come up with anything based on the rest of the circuit. So, like I said, that's uh, that's what we're looking at. Um, I, by the way, I have reversed the leads as well on this just to see what it did. It, I tested it every which way I could, and it's basically open. It's not not any good. So, that's a pretty uh, good indication, I think, that I was right. I kind of figured it was because, like I said, you can switch that that uh, start switch over which basically jumpers uh, from the anode to the cathode to that and uh, the meter starts fluctuating when you are putting it on charge now uh, on start it doesn't do much I don't think but it, it might even on start come to think of it but anyway like I said it does does do something on charge with the uh, switch set to S and I, I just I just figured that was the problem with it was this because obviously it doesn't do anything with this. So, all right, you guys have a pleasant evening. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you.